Hey, it's Chris, and in today's video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at the Peloton Tread software. So maybe you're thinking about buying a Peloton Tread or you already have a Peloton bike and you wanna see what the software experience is like. Well, let's find out about it in today's video. So whenever you first turn on your Peloton for the day, your rate of workouts already all set up. This is what's going to show. It's going to choose a profile. You have different profiles here. Um, and I'm not aware of a limit on the number or max number of profiles. I know you can have quite a few profiles. So if you have multiple people in your house or near you who want to use the Peloton Tread, you can create multiple accounts and profiles here. So whenever I'll boot it up here, we'll go ahead and click on my user profile here. Then we come up to the home screen here. This is virtually identical to the Peloton bike. So it looks great. It's a great user interface. So looking right here at the uh, home screen, starting at the top, you can see my information here, Electric Chris, and I have a hashtag that I have added to my account, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. And I'm on a 43 week streak and you can see what days I've worked out. And the next live class coming up is a Dennis Morton Yoga. That's the next live thing. You can scroll through here and see what's live, what's coming up next. Then we have your instructors. These are based upon the instructors that you take. So I take a lot of Andy Spear running classes for the tread. Um, he's my favorite. Then Olivia maybe be second. She's pretty difficult. And then Chase is kind of a newer instructor, not new instructor, but new instructor for me. Him and Jess Sims are kind of my new favorites. Your daily picks here are the ones that are based upon the type of workouts you do and the type of people. So here you can see we got a 20 minute Jess Sims run. I do a lot of 20 minute runs on uh, the treadmill. So we have those here queued up and their ideas and ways to get started if you don't know what you wanna do. Same thing here for popular right now. This is also stuff for ways to get started, things you may wanna do, what's popular in the Peloton community. We can also scroll, there's more here. There's the hashtags now that you can add. This is a relatively new feature. So you can put those on your leaderboard and it's a way for you to kind of express things that you, or communities and things and, and stuff you wanna be a part of. So Breakthrough Crew was my team for this Peloton kind of charity competition they had earlier this summer. So that's why that's my hashtag. And you can see other classes available for people who have that. I also have Peloton Dad or Pelo Dad, I think is what it is. So I can see that too. I'm actually change my hashtag here pretty soon. So challenges, these are things to get you motivated. We'll go deep dive into that here down at the bottom in just a second. Recommended programs will also be covered here in the programs and the recommended artists. This is based upon the stuff that you've liked um, or hearted songs during rides. And we'll get into that too. This is just some recommendations. So the big takeaway from this home page here is it's really about just giving you ideas if you don't know what you want to do. So going down here to the bottom is my profile information. I'm not going to save this for last because this is going to be after you've worked out what you want to look at. Then we go to the right here. We will have the different easy ways to swap profiles. Here's home again. Now let's go to programs. So programs, these are just curated collections of classes. So here we have Bootcamp Explorer. There's two-week program and... We also have total strength with Andy. So if you haven't done any type of strength training before, here's a four week program. And there's a variety of just basically, again, more curated ideas and programs of things to do. And some of these are specific to the Peloton tread, but some stuff like yoga you would do beside the tread or even some of the boot camp stuff. So you can see all the different cool stuff that is available. We got 11 classes for Women's History Month. We got Peloton boot camp to kind of get an idea for that. It has seven classes. Tons of different stuff here to do. Now, the thing I use the most is going to be the classes. So classes, this is where you're going to go look at all your on-demand content here. This is the main search way to do that. So we have tread up at the top selected. This is all tread classes. Or you could even drive or dive down a little bit deeper by going into just running classes, walking, and then the boot camp, which is where you're going to do some type of running and weights all as part of one workout, which I'm a big fan of. So we'll go back to running, and then you can, of course, just like the Peloton bike, search by instructors, lengths of how long you have to work out, your music genres that you want to listen to, the difficulty of the class, 
and the class type. And you have running skills where you're practicing those skills, warm up cooldowns, um, fun runs, endurance, speed intervals, and then your heart rate zone. And of course, some of this has closed captioning, so you could obviously sort by that too. Going over to the left here, there's also uh, these three buttons here. The left one is stuff that you've bookmarked. The middle one is stuff from that your friends have taken, classes. And your right one are ones that you've done, so ones you've done in the past. So if you want to find a, a workout you know, from a week ago that you want to do, again, there you go. We also have the ability to sort here by new, trending, popular, top rated, easiest, hardest. So again, if you're trying to find their best possible class highest rating, there it is, the highest rated class on the whole tread in running is the Olivia Amato 30 minute intervals run. So you can sort by that, or maybe you're trying to start out and you wanna go easiest, here's some easy classes. So very easy way to sort and define what you're looking for. So besides those three things up here at the top, we also have another one, which is floor. So these are things that do not need a Peloton tread. So your strength training with weights, your stretching, yoga, meditation, and then floor cardio, dance cardio, stuff like that is also available. And these are really great whenever you have the iPad or Android app or really the iPhone app. And you want to do these on a trip, on vacation, and just get a little bit of movement sweat. There are some of these available here. You know, doing a 20 minute dance cardio is a great way to get a workout when you don't really have the equipment that you normally have. So that's the way to look through classes where I spend the most amount of my time. So going to schedule, we'll click that down here. So schedule, this is what's coming up live. The grayed out stuff for today here on Friday, you can see is grayed out and we have one encore 20 minute pop run class here. Um, so encore basically means that it is a class that's already happened. It's already, it's, so basically what they do is they take that leaderboard, which I'll show you here in a little bit. It's how you're kind of competing on the right and they basically start that over. So the, the actual instructor part is pre-recorded. It's already happened. There's already a ride you can do from that. This is another version of that replayed, but with that leaderboard starting over. So you're not trying to compete against 5,000 people. It's a new leaderboard for you. Um, you'll notice here, so we look at the weekend. We got 7.30 a.m. run, a 9, and then an 11. And on Sunday, 7.30 and then 11. Your normal weekdays are, you'll see, these are all central standard time. So 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and then nothing in the evening, which is kind of lame. That's probably the biggest negative so far, is that there's just not nearly as many rides on this. You'll see Tuesday is another day. There's one in the evening at 6 p.m. central. Not nearly as many as there is on the Peloton bike. So going over to challenges. So these are kind of cool badges and things you can get as part of your profile, which we'll get to here in a little bit in a second. And there are ways to gamify, make it like a game to work out here. And the one big one they have to run in this year, this year for the entire year is how many minutes can you work out? Great thing about that, you can do this. This could be yoga. It could be any Peloton related thing. Yoga, uh, weight training, anything. Uh, so right now I'm at 5,000, whatever, and I have... 615 minutes till I reach, you know, uh, 6,000. And I think it goes to 10. Uh, and there's other ones you can join here. You'll see there's some coming up here. So we could obviously join those as they come up. And there's ones I've already done. You can go back and see those. They're completed. This is all the different challenges. So then we'll go over to more. So with more, more is... Uh, stuff that doesn't have an instructor. So you have two, you got just run, and that's gonna show really nothing on the screen besides your metrics down below, which we'll show in a second. Um, it's a way to do just, basically your Peloton is working like a standard treadmill. No instructors, no video, stuff like that. I would love to see like Netflix or YouTube added to that so you could watch videos or movies or something. That'd be pretty sweet. So a suggestion there. And then scenic run is you're running outside. It's not synced up to what is actually, let me turn down the volume here, so I don't get a copyright strike. So we'll hit this, I'll show you what I got here whenever it comes up. Just real quick, before we hop into another one, I go a little more in depth. This is, every, every um, city ride has a 
countdown here to get started. And all it is is it's a video camera, basically probably walking, riding a bike, something like that, through different places. It's not synced up. The tread is not running right now. My tripod's on it right now, so it's obviously not running. Um, and it's just literally just something to look at while you're working out. So pretty neat. And we'll exit out of this. If you tap here up on the top left, and we have a class in progress, it'll show you that. That'd be great to show you that right now. So if you ever have to exit out for something, maybe to reset up Bluetooth is most common, like my headphones or something aren't connected or they'll have issues. I'll hop out real quick and try to get those set up. And you can view it. And in this case, I am going to delete it because it's not a real workout. It's just for showing you guys. So, you have one, oh, I guess I didn't delete it. Oh, what have I done? Exit. Still going. View class. Edit. Delete. Delete. Should I tap it? There we go. So, that's down here. And now it's gone because I don't have a workout going. The next thing we have down here is this little newspaper. It's like a, uh, a news feed. Basically, of, of people who are your friends through Peloton. What they're doing, what classes they're doing. It makes it very easy to hop in that class. So, if someone you know... It's taking a class they've told me about it, and you want to easily find it, you can do it down here. And then we have the three little dots here. These are settings and miscellaneous stuff. So the, starting at the top, we have the instructors. There's all the instructors right here. And you can even click on them and see more information about them and what classes they have right here. I'll put them in classes. You can do all that real quick way. Find Peloton members if you know. You can find them on Facebook. You can connect your Peloton account through Facebook and find them that way. Or you can search by username. We have uh, Explore Tags. This is a new thing. So it's a way for you to kind of express yourself. See other people. Find classes of other people who are using these tags you're doing. You can create your own tags. So it's a whole cool kind of cool way to express yourself on the Peloton. So going up here, we have Profile Settings. So this is going to be your information here. So I'm going to blur out a bunch of this so you're not going to see it. Preferences is your information. You want 12-hour, are you miles, are you metric, uh, social information here. Do you want to automatically share to different things? To Strava, I have selected. And do you want to be able to share to Facebook, all that stuff. Membership information here, repayment information is cool. All that's there. And then we will go back to... Device settings. So this is going to take you to the device settings of the Peloton. So this is going to be the, uh, this is basically a giant Android tablet. It's 32 inches, huge. This is all the settings. This is the actual settings. So if you want to go into your Wi-Fi, and when you first get the bike, it's going to give you options to sell this up. Not through this menu, but through a much easier to set up menu. It's going to help you out. But once you are set up, this is going to be the way you go fix all this stuff. It's all in here. So your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth for your headphones, all of that. Display, you can do brightness of your display if you want. You can cast your screen if you want to a TV. Here, if you have different devices available to cast to. All that information right here. With the back button, sometimes I'll have to go in there for Bluetooth settings. Peloton 101. This is when you first get the Peloton. This is... The videos that will show up and it'll give you options to watch all these before you start your workouts. Here you can find them still. It's going to help you get kind of set up, you know, all the things you need to know. Get help. These are just help options here. Is your tread making noise? What can you do about it? You have an issue with the car rate monitor? It can walk you through all of that. Your tread's damaged. There's, there's all those answers are right there to get help. About is this information about the software tread? Membership ID, all that. You could possibly need that information if you're you're calling customer service or something. And you can, of course, log out for some reason if you wanted to do that. So now we're going to hop on to or into a ride. We'll just do this Just Sims Trap Ride here and have everything down. So whenever you first go to start that, you can do a preview here. You can also bookmark it. And then you'll see it's got explicit, which means... Her or the musician is going to use explicit language. So if you have kids or something, you want to have headphones or you just don't want to do that workout while they're around, just letting you know that. You can have closed captioning if you need that. And you can see the ratings there based upon what you rate the workout after you know the, the run is over. 
7.6 difficulty. Is you rating it also how difficult on a scale of one to 10? And these are the popular tags that we mentioned earlier. What I really love that when this was added, it was pretty sweet. Featured music by. So here we can see this is all the music that's in the workout. And you can hard it or unhard it if you already have. It's a great way to discover new music. And here's the class plan. You see it's four minute warm up, 15 minutes of running, one minute cool down. And if you have anything else, like you get off to go do um, boot camp, sometimes you'll warm up, run for like eight or nine minutes, do four minutes of arms beside the tread as like a boot camp, hop back on, it'll show you all that on here. So you can know this is one where I'm gonna be running only really eight minutes at a time with a lot of arms. You'll be able to see all that. And you can see how many workouts were done on this actual workout. So let's actually go look at a run. So we'll do this Jess Sims 20 minute trap run. Hit start. And then the first thing that's gonna come up is do you have your Bluetooth connected? Do you have your heart rate monitor connected? If you don't, there's ways to connect them here. And if you still can't, you can go to Bluetooth settings, which takes you into those settings earlier. And then we also have heart rate monitor. Normally this stuff will automatically connect, so it's not that big of a deal. And you can also change your tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my tag to Peloton Dads. I had the other one for a while. So we'll hit start. So here it is. I'm not gonna have any audio because I don't wanna get a copyright strike. They do use music popular music. Um, so you see here, first thing we got is a one minute countdown here where they explain the plan for the day, what the workout's gonna be. You'll see on the right here is your leaderboard. This is gonna be based upon incline, you know, how fast you're running, things like that. And it's gonna basically take, and we'll kind of show you here, and you're gonna get a thing called watts, which is right here on your output. That's how much energy you're basically creating, kinda. And the higher that is, the more, the better. Obviously, the harder you're working, and then that's going to start making these things here. I think they're kilojoules, uh, total output. It's a number, it's all that matters, and that number is going to go up based upon how high this number is right here, which is going to be based upon how high this number and this number, the pace, how fast you're going is. And it's going to change here, and you're going to be basically competing, competing against other people, uh, you know, on the leaderboard here. Now this is an on-demand class, so these 2,594 people have already done the workout. So it's gonna just start changing as they would. It's literally replaying that ride, or so it's replaying that. So it's replaying that workout with them. Um, so you're doing it in real time. You'll see slow walk, and a lot of these people have nothing, zero yet. And then some people up here maybe are going a little faster and then they'll start getting stuff as you know you start generating energy. So what I'm going to do here, and you can also see, is 20 minute personal record. 239 is my record for a 20 minute, and normally I'm at nine right now. So I'm going to start the peloton here. I'm going to step back a little bit out of the way, and so the audio may change a little bit. Oh, now we're going up, so you can see there it is showing it on the bottom left one up. If you incline, what we'll do is we'll start the speed here. I might have to move up the camera just a little bit. So, so where we are is one mile an hour. You can see, and now we're starting to generate 41 watts. Let's see if I can point it out. 41 watts right there. And I'm only going one mile an hour. Let's speed it up a little bit. Let's go up just to two for demonstration purposes. So now we are at 82 watts. Now I'm going to take the incline up just half a half a percent. And now you see we went up to 84. So it changes your watts. And we are now we still have zero output at the bottom. And on the leaderboard, you will also see some people have one. That's what they're above us. And we have zero right now. And that's how you're competing and trying to get faster, better, and higher up the leaderboard. For me, if I finish in the top 50%, I'm pretty happy. Um, if I finish in the top 25% of people, that is a day where I went all out. I'm never finishing pretty much higher than that. So we'll stop this, stop this, and then, so the next thing I wanna show you is over here on the leaderboard, there is some other things you can do here too. From the leaderboard, 
The first is you can filter. So you can do by age groups, by gender. So if you are you know, a male in my 30s for a little bit longer, show. And then now you can see I'm just racked and stacking against other 30 year old males. Right, so you got that as an option. You can also do here now, who's taking the class right now? Uh, that's my favorite one. If it's a very popular class that just happened, I will usually do here now. So, okay, so now moving over to profile information. So you can see I'm an electric Chris if you wanna follow me on Peloton. And you can see all of my statistics here in the overview. This is the one I use the most. It's where I'm gonna get kind of an overview of what I've been doing. 923 uh, lifetime uh, workouts. And you can see all my stats there of what I've done across the Peloton community. You have a 30 day here, so you can see like, hey, am I doing less or more? Am I trying to trying to push harder? Then maybe I wanna work out more. And I can kind of track that all right through here in the last 30 days. Workouts, distances, all that stuff. You can read it. And then we have a calendar to see when I've worked out. And you can obviously tap on this stuff and get more information about that specific workout from me. So if I do that, if I tap on it, it'll bring me down to workout history. You can see here's all your metrics, which is pretty sweet. Heart rate graphs, speed and pace graphs, um, elevation, all that. Also, how much you're in different heart rate zones where you're going to put in your, your age and weight. Well, age for heart rate zones. You're putting in your age, and it's going to calculate it out, you know, 220 minus whatever the calculation goes and sees that my max would be 181, and it comes up with a zone for you. Really awesome. Go back to overview though. We also can see achievements. And this overview is gonna pop you into the, these things down here if you tap on it. So if I tap on recent achievements, now we're down in achievements, which you can tap on. These are all the little badges and things that you can get from Peloton, from different accomplishments, from participating in their events they have, which makes it fun. Then we have activity. So this is just an overview of your Peloton stuff. And this not, does not only include the tread, this will also, these high numbers sometimes here on like distance, that's a pretty high number. That's like almost, what was it 12 miles maybe? That is obviously from a, a uh, 45 minute Peloton ride. So it also includes all of that too, um, as also a thing that you can look at. So we'll go back down to that and you'll see all your runs and you can kind of go through here. Calories is probably the most useful out of these graphs because burning calories is burning calories. Um, so there's that, which is pretty sweet. See calories, average output, heart rate, all that, if, depending on what your training goals are. And then music. So music, like I mentioned earlier, is one of my favorites. So what I like about music is it's, it's a new thing within relatively, probably last year. And you can connect your music. I have Apple Music Connect. You also do Spotify to the signed in. And now you have a playlist in your Apple Music or Spotify. And whenever you heart stuff during a ride... Right now that stuff, these songs get added to that playlist. So now you have a whole playlist on your phone of all these songs you love from that you discovered on your workout. I'm a huge fan of that. And uh, I like to discover new music or when I'm going a, just in the zone with a ride, the beat, all that's just, just clicking to be able to save that song. Kind of listen to it and get psyched up again, depending on what I'm doing. So we'll go back to the home screen. I think that's basically everything. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, or if there's something you don't hear that I missed that you want to see, let me know in the comments below, and I will definitely make sure to come back and film something, or at least address it in the comments. So that is the Peloton Tread software. It is virtually identical to the Peloton bike software, except with a few customizations, obviously for treadmill running versus indoor cycling. So hopefully this video was informative for you. If it was, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you wanna see more stuff like this on the Peloton Tread, the Peloton Bike, and other active lifestyle technology, then go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you have questions or comments about the software on the Peloton Tread or the Peloton Tread in general, then go ahead and hit me up in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.